Alrighty then, we are back in the game, and once again we are back in the awesome uh, mod Broken Crescent, which is a mod for Medieval 2 Total War. And guess who we're going to be playing as today? Well, you can see who we're not going to be playing as today. We are not going to be playing as the um, Gazni, are we? Well, let me see who we are. Who are we playing as? Uh, let's minimise that. We are playing as the Gurus. Is it supposed to be with an O or a U? Maybe it has a uh, two spellings. All right, I'm going to pronounce it as a Gurid. All right, uh, we need to wipe out the Gaznavids and the Paramara Rajputs. All right, looking at the map, um, isn't this? Ooh, Somebody's going to call me out for it, but isn't this Eastern Iran or Western Afghanistan? Um, I'd expect the Rajputs to be in India, wouldn't we? Um, there is a faction from Sindh, which is... Um, let me see, again, somebody's going to call me out on this. Sindh is a rather desert area in what, southeast Pakistan, isn't it? Bordering, I think. India. Um, yeah, I think we're in eastern Iran. That would be Iraq. No, we've got to be in western Afghanistan, haven't we? Alright, I'm not familiar with all of these place names except for Kandahar. Okay, Kandahar, I definitely know it is in Afghanistan. Uh, it was host to a rather large airbase. Alright, so let's go back to our message. Uh, is there too much to read? Let me go ahead and read it. Um, from all the dynasties having ruled amid the Gur Mountains, from the emperors of Persia to Alexander of Macedon, to the Arab conquests, there is one that stands out. While other cultures have merely assimilated or faded away, the Gurids construct their cities with proficiency and burn a scorch of war upon the earth. Having recently converted to Islam in 1149, the people of the Gur Mountains yearn to spread their religion to new lands, as mandated by the Divine Will. Between Harat and Ghazni uh, lies near impassable mountains with terrain that is rugged and difficult to travel. The land is defensible, but not impregnable. Intemperate hordes of warriors from the hills will surely arise to defend if any foreign power will encroach upon their lands. Chieftains regularly discourage outsiders through raids for plunder, slaves and tribute, and are happy to engage personally in a land where one's power is often determined by a strong will and forged by the sword. Alright, surrounded by high mountains and potential enemies, the Gurids retain a Persian language nearly free of Arab influence, while developing a unique style of building. The Minaret of Jam, a grand collection of minarets and towers, was completed in the 11th century through the support of various sultans. Located in the Gurid city of Viruska, uh, 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 it is simple of inspiration as the empire looks for further expansion. Once a provincial governor, Muhammad of, Guru, uh, Muhammad of Gore now holds the throne, and to lighten his grip on it is something he does not intend to do, or intend to do, Muhammad of Gore has envisioned great things, his name bearing the weight of the empire. His blind ambition has stressed economic capacity of the Gurids and the will of his people to continue, yet they do, and at almost any cost. Like the Ghaznavids before them, the Gurid people hope to one day rise from obscurity in the Afghan hillside and make their name feared in a land beyond their own. Not even they have been spared of the Sultan's wrath so far. With a crippling victory in 1152, the uh, Ghaznavids still struggled to recover the splendour of their former glory, with thousands of disciplined Turkish gulams and fanatical Islamic Ghazis. Uh, the Sultan seems well prepared for the next course of action, whatever that may be, or to whatever land it may lead the troops. Though formidable opponents the Ghaznavids may be, they are not the only ones the Gurids might have to deal with in the face of expansion. Gore now sets his sight on the wealthy land of India. Land is not the only reason a Gurid may seek conquest. If the vast spoils of wealth were to be brought home, the great Afghan homeland will be further enriched, and converts to Islam will be won. 
there is an arrogant and overconfident prince who would deny this to the Gurud Emperor. Uh, Prithviraj, an unsupported Indian prince, sits near the Khyber Mountain Pass, guarding the jewel of India. Perhaps he should be taught a lesson in arrogance and for denying his betters white for access to the east. Or like the Sultan's prior, brick and mortar may be your instrument for the obedience of your people and a symbol of ascendancy, whatever the path may be, remember that mercy is expensive, conquest is boundless, that and the dead tell no tales. All right, let's take another look. All right, we need to hold 20 regions. We start with seven. We need to eliminate two factions. Now the uh, Rajputs, Paramara, uh, Paramara Rajputs, all the way over in the bottom right corner um, of the territory that we can conquer. The Ghaznavids are right next to us. That's them in the green there. We can even zoom in, can't we? All right. Now we start with ten generals. We've got five cities and two castles. But look at our starting situation. We've got 10k. We're expected to lose money. Those two are not happy. That's not happy. That's not happy. That ain't happy. Right, but we do have an army here. We perhaps have very expensive units. Um, 518, 656, 650, 550, 518. I get the impression uh, that the economy could be a bit of a struggle for us. Alright, now we have a spy there. He's got a 70% chance of getting in. I can't remember if they're going to spawn any garrison units. Now, we don't have any infantry in here, do we? Um, ooh, look at how expensive the mercenaries are as well. Hmm. Now, if he could get in there and open the gate, he will be able to conquer that one. Peshwa. Uh, we see there are Gaznavid armies up here, blocking the route. Let's try it. He's got a 70% chance, and he did get in. He's got 7,000 population. All right, he's not going to open the gate. We can build siege equipment, but we can't man it because we don't have infantry. Now, that's going to take nine turns to siege down. All right, we've got a Gurud merchant. Now, I have absolutely no idea about the Gurids. Um, the only time I've really come across them is in this mod. And it's great that we have Medieval 2 mods uh, exposing us to uh, new geographies and cultures and factions and battles and conquests and empire. So it will be a bit of a learning experience for me. Um, what are we going to do with him? He needs to make some money. Right. Ooh, 550 right there. What is that? Silver? What's he getting? If I can click on him. Silk. He's got silk. That's always a good resource. Uh, we've got another expensive cavalry army right here. Well, we're going to have to lower the tax there if we can. We'll have to lower it there if we can. In fact, we're going to have to lower it everywhere in those places. All the towns are very unhappy. Now they're slightly happier. Look how expensive our buildings are. Um, actually, this general, oh, they've become happier with him out. I think that's a cav uh, general's unit, isn't it? I think. Right, so they're happier with him out. And he actually had a penalty on construction. Now, with our 10,000, we could get two and a half roads, dirt roads. That isn't much. Uh, we have rebels here. We also have another spy over here. Right. We we'll probably need to get you heading east. Right. I'm going to turn up the speech one second. Uh, sound options. Speech. I had to turn down some of them like the music we'll see how that sounds 
Yeah, maybe a little down. Right. What if we take... Well, we're already on low, but what if we take him out? All right. They seem to be happy with him out. We might as well get them moving together. I wonder, what about those other settlements? No, those are not happy if we take them out. Kabul. All right, that is the capital of uh, Afghanistan, isn't it? Right. Now, uh, Bamiyan, isn't that the place where they had those uh, giant statues? I think they were Hindu statues, but they got blown up. I seem to recognize the name. It's definitely been in the news um, sometime in the late 2000s. Well, uh, yeah, not like the late century, but somewhere around about 2009, wasn't it? I seem to remember someone blowing up some large statues around there. Right, now that's got 9,105. And is there any penalty? No. What is the Sultan's will? Oh, that one. Right, not really losing any money. Slightly happier. Right, they're probably costing us some money, so we might as well get them together. Now, you, again, lots of armies. We're going to send you and try to uh, capture Herat. Now, I think Herat is the westernmost province in Afghanistan, but well, certainly on the western edge. Fairly confident it borders Iran. So yeah, if we expand any further we will be in eastern Iran um, as for modern day borders. Right, so we've got you there. We know there's an army up here. Right, you go and join up with him. We'll have those coming up. Alright, we've got mainly just oh, Royal Ghulam Lancers. I mean, those are nice looking units, but hmm, last are they expensive? That's what's going to be killing our economy. I mean, now we're losing three and a half after lowering the taxes. Even in our fortress, they're not particularly happy. I wonder if we're anywhere we can raise the tax. Can we squeak by? Maybe for a turn. That's just going to delay the inevitable. We need to conquer territory, it looks like. Yeah, I don't think we can really raise it. Now, who's going to, or what, is going to make us the most money? That'll make us 450. In there. Trade 596. That's not making any. Um, difference. Right now it looks like mines. Roads not doing anything. Yeah, it's not bringing in much money is it? At least not in this part of the campaign. Yeah, for some reason Rhodes not doing anything. At least we're getting some money if we invest in the farms, but they're rather expensive, aren't they? Alright. What kind of units can we get? We can get Pashtun warriors. Uh, quite a few Pashtun warriors still around even today. Tough fighters. Alright, more nobles. We will need some infantry. Right, what's their upkeep? That's about half of what we're paying for some of those cavalry. There's no one recruitable in our fortress, oddly enough. Um, Lashkar tribesmen. Alright, what's their upkeep? If we can click on 300, that's still about half the upkeep of some units. 
those are the only two. Ah, now this one, which is way on the western edge, we can get lots of units, Ghazi warriors. Although, aren't we supposed to be conquering the Ghaznavids, the Ghazis? Uh, Kabuli Axemen. Right, these ones, Ghazi warriors, Ghazis, those are actually fairly cheap. What about our missile units? Those look promising. Can anyone put down stakes? You've got javelins. Can't see anyone putting down stakes. Hmm. Ooh, that catapult, 2500. Expensive. Looks like a uh, lighter cavalry over here. <clears throat> but that's a good place to recruit. Um, yeah, not really anyone over there. Not many there. No one there. Not really anyone there. So we have to get through that little army. I'm sure we've got... We've got a diplomat there. Right, so we're supposed to wipe out at least two factions to our east. So let's head west with the diplomat. Alright, and let's check any other agents. So you're trading silk. We've moved the two spies and the diplomat. He did get in there. We didn't do much. Can I get another diplomat? I can. He's out on the western edge. So is he. Right. So if we want infantry, we'll have to recruit them here and send them up through the passes. Right, that looks like we've moved all the armies. You're going to join up with those. And you're going to try with your cavalry to take out these ones. And if we need reinforcements for you, we'll set, uh, recruit them up here if we have any money. Right, so it looked like that mine was giving us a good amount of money. What about Silk Caravan 152. No, that's not doing anything for you. Hmm. Right. Right. Let's see how many mines could we get. Oh, I mean, they're expensive. I got him. Oh, I got that. I don't even know if we could. Oh, he's actually. A penalty there. Right, I mean it's still 7200. If I got that, I couldn't get anything else. Or we might be able to get a slave market somewhere. But again, it's not bringing in much. Right, that's at Gardez. Are there any more mines? Hmm. I mean, the roads would speed up movement, wouldn't they? Communal farming, that's expensive. Yeah, it looks like the best return on our investment is going to be that mine. And then basically we can't get anything else. You know what, I think I'll get a third one, a third diplomat. I will send them one of them east. And we might as well get some infantry. Could I get disband him? Because he's gonna cost four fifty. I think we can get away with it. I mean, it's going to be useful, isn't he? Right, I'm going to send him over there. Looks like we can get away with that. 
1250 for Afghan tribes when all right, we've got 1800, so we can get a couple of units. Uh, I think the drawback on this faction is that we're very limited or don't have any spear units or pikes or halberds. We're all melee and missile and cavalry or axemen. Yeah, pretty much melee units. And no spears. I think there might be a militia spear unit, but of course they're not going to perform too well. Persian militia. Well, that pretty much takes all of it. Um, there was another agent. No, oh, merchant of 1000. Ooh, blast. Right. Now that army might come back and challenge us. Let's see. Yeah, it's great to be back in the Broken Crescent mod. This was a, a very popular mod um, some years back, but I actually have not seen anyone upload on YouTube for quite some time. If anyone is watching this and knows a channel that's been uploading Broken Crescent, let me know. Because it's literally been years since I've seen anyone do it. And I'm currently subscribed to about um, 400 channels that are, or have in the past, uploaded Total War content. And for the life of me, I can't think of anyone who's doing it. Alright, this guy is sexually liberated, so I'm going to adopt him. Go for it, mate. Alright, he's a Sunni Muslim. Alright. Um, do we have Shia Muslim, or Shia Islam, in our territories? I wonder. Right, he's very loyal, which I definitely like. Cool and cunning. Siege expert. Coming useful. Yeah, we've gone quite a bit into debt already. We're going to have to work our way out. But we've got one settlement under siege. We're going to attack another one. Right, and he's shown up in the western part. Right, if we capture Harat, we'll get some best units, which we don't really need. Right, so he came in over here. Right, we're going to have a little battle. We're outnumbered, and actually quite a bit. They've got a lot of cavalry. It's going to be a big cavalry battle. Now, um, Muhammad, general, not family member. See, he couldn't even get over by himself. We could delay it and wait for his three units. Up there, and then head for Jamal. Jamal was not there, it was a captain, wasn't it? I swear it was a captain. So we can't even get in there, even though we have that. We need an entry unit. Alright, we'll see how swiftly our enemies do fall. Right, so you're going to keep moving. I think there's a faction up here, there's a rebel settlement. There's a big desert there, and there's a lot of territory you can't even move into, like mountains and desert. You, I did say I was going to send over here. Ah, another rebel settlement. Right. Well, apparently you can bypass them. Right. Is this the Khyber Pass? That'd be cool if they actually named it, wouldn't it? Alright, how bad is it going to get? We're going to lose 4k in the next turn. Alright, well, we're going to go massively into debt. And then have to work our way out. Kind of like the um, Rome Total Realism Imperium Serectum mod I'm doing. We started that with a Macedon campaign where we went into debt but very quickly worked our way out, so it can be done. So if you are playing mods where you go into debt, just be prepared for that. Don't expect um, rapid expansion on turn one. Now, we're going 4k into debt. Right, he dislikes Gaznavids. 
no one except him. And he's shown up in the same place. There's been a revolution in Egypt. Say it ain't so. Saladin Ayyub has declared himself the Sultan of Egypt and Damascus and has abolished the Shiite Fatimid Caliphate, reinstating the Sunni faith in Egypt. Well, apparently we're Sunnis, so I guess we should be cheering for that. Um, oh, there's a Sindhi merchant coming. That's not good. Alright. Oh, there's a Rajput diplomat. We can talk to him. Get some trade going. Alright, now they're also at war with the Ghaznavids. So... Oh, rejected. Can we get map info going? Not interested. Alright, well, let's have you moving up there. Alright, we've bumped into another settlement. Was that Ooch? Ook? Ook or Ooch? And, uh, an enemy castle. They don't look like they've got much in their two units. It's got a good population. That'd be nice to sack, but not many buildings. Not many buildings blocked. We've been blocked. That looks like an oasis. Alright. I'm sure we'll bump into someone fairly soon. Jamal does not look like he's moved. Looks like we should be able to take him out. We've got Bowman. Gulam Infantry. That'll be tough. At least they have some uh, spare units. Alright, so we got that other general right there. He looks like he could actually reach. Oh, that, oh, we ran out of movement points. Oh well. Well, we have a lot better army now. An extra four units. How long before that gets built? Four more turns. Alright. Now the army that's going to go and attack Jamal, hopefully that had an infantry unit in it. Alright, Kara Katan Karganate. Alright, looks like he was going to say something to us, but then he kind of stopped. Alright, that's my spy. Let's see what else is out there. Oh, he can move a long way. Alright. Another enemy castle. Let's try to find some roads. Because that's a good indication of civilization. Uh, rebel. I do want him to come along the Gulf Coast because there's about three factions along the Gulf Coast we can talk to. Alright, we're going to get a battle going in this first episode, which will be, as usual, a bit longer than others. No, he does have infantry. Alright. We might even get two battles. Let's see how quickly we can get it going. How quickly we can win or lose. Well, look at this position. I think we're going to be fighting in mountains a lot um, in this campaign. And sometimes the mod does bug out, doesn't it? Uh, Medieval 2 does. Look at how um, sheer those cliffs are. Wow, that. I mean, it looks very nice. Unless, of course, you have to climb up here. Mm. 
Right. Because the enemy might deploy in some weird position like up there. And then we can't even get to them. Well, they're apparently all the way blasted up here. Oh, this is going to take forever. Is it, is it even going to let me move my troops up there? Alright, well. We'll try to get up here. We're going to have to speed it all up. Looks like we might be able to come up here. Let's go to six times speed. Well, they seem to be moving all in that direction. That's about the edge of the map there. No, looks like they're coming up there. Some of them are going to start shooting fairly quickly. Then we're going to have to start running. Alright, they are reloading. Alright, at least we've got one unit firing. Oh, we're actually uh, killing some of them. All right. Oh, he got into the um, spearman. All right. Now you're going to have to start running. Sorry about this, but you're going to get tired. Oh, yeah, he's taking a beating. Down to thirteen. Right, some of our infantry are firing. We need to get rid of those spears. That's slowing us down. Oh yeah, wherever he is, he's very close to getting killed off. It's down to four. Let's see if we can save him. Uh, this one's not even on skirmish mode. Junior Gulen horse archers. Behold our worthless foe. Is that their general? general it is. Like a dog. The cowardly enemy general has been captured while running away. All right. We were actually at two times speed throughout that battle. <laughs> we are most civilized as we kill you. Most people involved in war like to consider themselves civilized. Only half the enemy force remains. The Gulen cavalry is holding out well, but that general Ooh, heavy Gulen infantry, we don't want to mess with them. Can you reach them? You can shoot them. That would be nice. Yeah, it's that one unit holding out quite well. Can we get you up there so you can shoot down onto them? Right, they are wavering. Somebody kill that unit off so we can start using all of our missiles on this one. Mm. Alright, start shooting down at them. Have we broken through? No, but they're still shaken. Alright, they managed to get away, or through. Let's actually form up. We're taking a lot of prisoners. Now these ones have javelins, noble tribesmen. 
Right. We got gas now with the uh, Gulums. Right, but we've run out of ammunition on that unit. Try to get those past. You don't need to get that close. They say they're charging, but you don't look like they're moving out of position. Right. Try to get into those. Really? And allowed himself to be slain in battle. Oh, he must have got um, very close. That's a shame because we're going to lose a whole unit. Whereas we did kill Jamal. Well, he's a dead horseman now. So there is that. Keep firing. Well, we don't have to worry about him too much now. It says my wavering. Right, those are shaken. I was worried about losing him, and in the end, it was our actual general. Right, we've broken those. I'm going to send those ones back to chase them down. And then we'll send the infantry after them. Right, now trying to charge forward. We might as well counter him with his bodyguard now. And those are broken. Right, stop shooting. Stop shooting. No, we can stop shooting. Stop shooting. Well, that was a third of our army and our general. Hopefully, he wasn't anyone too important. All right, thirty percent. Well, considering they had a lot better um, starting position than we had, we did all right. Now those are Byzantine spearmen right there. Ooh, that's a lot of money. That won't get us out of debt. I'm going to offer it. Um, they may have it because it's only turn four. No, they've rejected it. Well, you're all dead. All right. Has that helped our economy quite a bit? A few more battles like that and we'll start making money. Well, we're at war view, so do we care what you feel? Right. We can't quite get through to him, can we? I mean, the cavalry could. But we can get very close. And then we can join up. All right. After seeing that one, we risk perhaps losing three more generals. But let's try to capture Harat. All right. So we've got more men. We've got 13, 14, 40 ish, something like that. Let's give it a crack. Yeah, we got the battle, uh, victory. Now those look like um, units, halberd units from the Rajput factions. Now the Rajputs can get elephants. They're a cool faction to play as. I've done a personal campaign as them in the past. There are two Rajput factions I think. Look at those beautiful units. Look at them. Look at them. Yeah. I do need to make a screenshot. Alright, lots of cavalry. Yeah, we do have some flaming arrows. Probably just charge forward. Because they've got units coming forwards. 
Go forth. We've got missile or javelin units and um, archer units. You should be, well, both of those are javelins. There, there. Make sure they are all on skirmish though. Now that's the um, Royal Ghulam. Let's get those moving. We've got four generals, or three. All fairly small bodyguards. I say we try to break this one first. Maybe sacrifice a few units over on this flank. For distracting. Fairly confident we can break them. Noble tribes and cavalry. Those are looking six versus five. Oh, they're actually beating us. Actually beating us. Right, you got charged by somebody. Right, take those off for skirmish because I don't want them moving around. You also managed to get in, even though you're on skirmish mode. Ah, that one's broken. Go after those. It's a lot of cavalry fighting going on, isn't it? That's there, General. See if we can kill him off. Yeah. We are winning the battle. Yeah, but we're taking heavy casualties. Let's try pushing through. Fully engage. I feel like we're going to lose more generals. Right. Where's that general? Up there. They're beating up my infantry, but who cares about the infantry? We've routed another unit. We've routed several units. Starting to get some prisoners now. Who's holding out over here? Alright, Bowman. Those are shaken already. Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Oh, they will. Those are wavering, shaken. Right, that's my horse archer reinforcements. Who do we have out here? Their reinforcements. Ooh, Kurasani heavy spearmen. Those look like a tough bunch. They look uh, quite professional. Right. I'm going to turn that unit around. This general is holding on, but I'm going to start running into. Um, There's a militia, but heavy infantry. We're going to start running into their reinforcements. This general is in some trouble. How can I get him out? I'm 
Right, and those ones are routed. Uh, we're winning now, kind of. Right, you're out of ammunition. Go after those, north of skirmish mode. These ones seem to have a lot of ammunition now. You're all the way out there. Right, we've routed their spear unit. Chase them. Don't stand there. It says you're running, but you're not actually running. Get in there before they rally. Sure. Make them lose their heart. No, don't want him running in there. After them. Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Hmm. How am I going to send him where he won't run into somebody really tough? Right, those are out of ammunition. You're not fighting anyone. I think we'll start breaking most of their units now. Yep, that one's broken. So 80% of their army gone. And most of their units are gone as well. This one is still standing. Right, come up there. Somebody see them off. Now they, yeah, that's annoying when they do that, but you can engage them. Just move your unit through. And they will start engaging them. No, oh, this one really is holding out quite well. Yeah, I mean, technically they're dying. General turns tail and flees like a whipped dog. Yep, they're dying. The enemy must curse the day they were born. Let all the poets write of this most wondrous triumph. All right, only 167 remaining. Maybe we'll capture Harat. Ah, we're going to capture it, aren't we? Yes. Um, we're going to get it. Well done. Good job. I see a lot of enemy merchants showing up. Right. We are going to have to kill a lot of people. I mean, just to be on the safe side. Right. What do we get? Four units of Ghazi warriors up here they cost 375 so that's 6 750 Ooh. 1500 there i'm going to get those out 
let's get them heading up here because we will need more infantry. Now, I'm guessing we can use all those. We are Sunni. Alright, 220%. We're getting 24.52. That might have got us. Well, it's got us out of debt. That's good. Just from capturing that one settlement. I want to. Well, you know, we did see another rebel settlement. Where did I see it? There was another rebel one. But I think we want to concentrate. There was it. Rebel one there. We want to concentrate our forces against the Ghazi. Or Ghaznavids. Uh, we're going to capture Peshawar in the next episode. So maybe just funnel as many troops up through here. Because we can strike at those two. We know those are there. I don't know if they have any troops or settlements up here. Alright, so we've got that. And the trade increase. Russian has expanded Berserker. Trade increase. Let us see. We could move out most of those. We'll probably just keep those ones behind. We take out all that cavalry. They seem to still be quite happy. Let's go like that. Uh, Pashtun warriors in three turns. Right. Not sure if we get any free upkeep units. Right. There is Sunni Islam. There's heresy and Manichaean beliefs, Judaism, Hinduism, Pagan polytheism, Buddhism. Ah, there is Shia Islam. All right. Eastern Christianity, all the way out here. Really? Huh. Who was spreading Eastern Christianity out here? Um, it's 1175 AD. Hmm, that'd be interesting to find out who was spreading that. Alright, so we need to convert more. We do have the, um, well, somebody will call me out if I said temple, the uh, Majid. Alright, uh, I might even, at some point, I might call this a temple or a church or a Majid. We all know it's a religious building uh, for the study and worship of your beliefs. Alright, but Majid just isn't a word I commonly use every every day. Alright, so that should actually go up as we have that. And our uh, general in here, he's a Sunni Muslim so he should help convert. And we've got some money, and it is bringing in a decent amount, 2700 what could we do? Actually, does he have... No, he actually has a discount. Ooh, that's good. More on construction. Right, so trade. 448. Yeah, that's basically not even worth it, is it? Well, we do have a market. That's not going to help much either. We've seen that the roads are not doing anything. We've got slave market. That's not going to help. They, they, um, all three of those look like they're giving about the same bonus. Silk caravan. Yeah. Not really doing anything are they? Crop rotation 9100. Wow. And that goes 720. Yeah, that only go up 120. Mm, vineyard. Yeah. Basically same amount for all of those. I don't even think it's worth putting any of those in. We could upgrade that. Hmm. I can't remember if we can call Crusades in this or whether they've been disabled. Hmm. Right. I'm not even tempted to put anything in there. As we've seen with the buildings from other settlements, they don't make that much money. 500 for a watchtower. Hmm. Alright, let's get you heading up there. Just funnel them up there. I don't think we'll try to get the rebel settlements around here until we know which other factions are close by. So I don't really want to border any other real factions at the moment. 
just the ones that we need to wipe out. All right, so that's probably been close to an hour. Um, so you've probably gotten tired of listening to me. So I shall end it right here. And we will come back for episode two, where we will capture Peshawar and expand, hopefully, into Gaznavid territory. Probably a third uh, spy would be helpful. But thank you for watching this one. Hopefully you'll like, comment, and most definitely subscribe to the channel. Uh, because we aim to cover all of the factions in this mod, and all the other mods that we cover. Uh, we cover a lot of Medieval 2 and Rome 1 mods. That's what this channel is about, Total War.